Hi you and welcome to Miscellaneous Friday. I have to admit I tend to think of it as Friscellaneous Friday but that's just my own special thing. Uh, as you can see no Sims, no Tomb Raider, we've got a new game today and this one is called Prison Architect. Uh, I saw this for sale on Steam a couple of weeks ago I think it was. A, couple, a few of you recommended it so here I am. Now the night I bought it I did go through the little tutorial um, I, you know the the little workmen <laughs> they're little hammers <laughs> oh my god they make me so happy and I was giggling and this is just the most awesome game and then as you get through the end of the tutorial and they show you about these little quest things uh, up in the, the upper left hand corner here they they show you how to click and drag whatever but at the end of it <sighs> You're kind of faced with this moral or ethical dilemma and it seems like such a little thing. Do you want to place, here? it's an option, you don't have to do this, but you could place this object in a certain area. You have to spend the money on it and there would be, you know, kind of hard-nosed logical reasons why you wouldn't waste the money on that object. And it seemed like such a little thing, but it kind of made, it set me back and it made me go, oh, this, there's going to be a lot more to this game than a bunch of cute little guys running around with hammers and screwdrivers. So just in case you haven't played before, I'm just going to go through a few of these things. It is a reminder to myself as well, and, and the tutorial doesn't show you everything. So let's take a, a little step through and then we'll try to build a prison because, you know, that's a cool thing to make beautiful, but if there are trees and flowers in here, oh yeah, totally, <laughs> whatever it costs. So the first thing I want to show you is this little upper right uh, left hand corner here, this to-do list, and there's sort of like little mini quests that are going to kind of help you realize what you have to do through the game. Um, the prisoner intake is a good one to pay attention to. I have eight prisoners arriving in 23 hours. My clock is over here on the right and they're going to show up when they show up so you're either ready for them or they're just I guess they're just going to dump them in a field and let them go free <laughs> so foundations pretty self-explanatory you've got to build walls taking them down materials again you know oh we can plant grass that's good to know I hadn't seen that before fencing uh, different stone floors ooh pretty one and they have different speeds apparently walk speed fast fast gravel is slow cuz yeah it is okay that's pretty cool outdoor that's slow normal so you can just zip along on the tiles that's cool marble for the fancy prison see you can make these beautiful too that's awesome we can put up old concrete or pretty brick walls I like this rooms now this one I found this one really this one taught me a lot about what you have to do in the game um, a cell is pretty self-explanatory but notice that they're showing you the minimum size so you have to make them at least that small or, or that's big or they're not going to work and they show you the items that you're going to need inside the cell for it to function as a cell a holding cell okay it's just um, minimum size this one's bigger there's no bed in this one I guess it's, it's just a place to hold them until you figure out you know what room to assign them to or maybe in the early stages of a game you might not even have cells built yet yet I suppose so solitary confinement that's evident canteen kind of like the, the lunchroom at school I guess okay where your prisoners will take their afternoon tea <laughs> That's the kind of prison I want to make. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> Kitchen, again, you have a cooker, fridge, and sink, or it's not going to function. <coughs> a shower to keep them squeaky clean and lice free. Mmm, that's nice. Shower head, okay. Uh, let your prisoner see the sun. Under the watchful eye of your sniper towers. Okay, it is a prison. There's always these reminders, okay? Uh, storage. So we have deliveries here in the garbage area, which is already in place. Um, so we have a storage room. Not a bad idea. Something I would have not even thought of building, actually. So thank you for being there. 
deliveries. Okay, that's where they're all there. Everybody's dropped off. Garbage execution room. Wow. A workshop where you send your prisoners to die of boredom while making your car license plates. <laughs> I love it. So you can see that some of these things are locked and if I understand it correctly, there's research or certain, I don't remember if it's research, or certain um, types of people that you can hire that will allow these other things to be available. So a security room for officers, an office room, okay, administrative staff, an infirmary, of course, uh, dead prin prisoners and staff. <laughs> Yeah. A common room, free time to relax. Okay, well that's kind of nice. So, what kind of objects? Beds, toilets, tables, benches, electric chair, ooh, a jail, large door, door. I can plant trees. Awesome. Lights, windows, uh, bins, serving tables, medical beds, bookshelf. Nice. Ooh. A sprinkler. Oh, for fire. Nice. A metal detector. Find contraband. We pass through these. Okay, I don't know anything about contraband yet, so we'll see how that goes. Pool tables, large TVs. Allows lots of prisoners to share the experience of brain rot. <laughs> uh, pacify your prisoners with mind-numbing mediocrity. I, I see they feel the same way about TV that I do. That's so cool. So we have monitors, uh, cameras, and removing objects. Phone booths so they can talk to their families or, you know, arrange for things to be smuggled in. Okay, the kind of staff you can hire. Guards, doctor, cook, a warden. I suppose that's uh, required before you can research. Okay, that's where I saw the research thing and in higher and higher advanced staff members. A chief, um, access to the deployment CCTV and riot guards. Okay, nice. Foremans, janitors and gardeners. You can have gardeners. Okay, this may turn out just fine. Ooh, do I want to have insight is the question. Accountant grants. That's lovely. Lawyers. Penalty points. Oh, I wonder what I get penalty points for. Utilities. Power stations. Capacitors to add. Electric cable. Power switches. Small pipes. Okay. That's locked. Deployment. Emergencies. Fire engines, okay. Clone, okay. Uh, clone me or cloning objects, rooms. That would be cool if you could just take a room and pop it down. You create one cell and then just, I don't know if that's the case, but I would like it. And planning, okay, that's pretty cool. Lockdown, instantly lock all doors, bang up, send all willing prisoners back to their cell. <laughs> And then down here on reports, let's see what we have. Staff. So right now we have eight workers. That's it. We have no prisoners. We've closed this. This is open for normal risk. Oh, so we could go to low risk prisoners. Okay. That. So we could make like, like a Martha Stewart kind of prison. <laughs> Jobs. Don't know what that's going to be. Needs a psychologist regime. We need a warden. Grants. Okay, like this idea. Okay, basic detention. Turn an empty field into a functioning prison. Government contract gives funds necessary to build the absolute minimum. So you click on that. Okay, and that's gone over here. Now this is telling us what, okay, what we have to actually start with to have prisoners show up. Really made a nice difference in our bank account, so that's awesome. Administrative center for a warden and an accountant. So if we click on those, if we add these, 
Okay, or we're going to have to add these to cover the grant, I guess. Build your first cell block in health and well-being. Well, I suppose we could go ahead and take these because clearly we're going to head that way, but, and this is on completion, of course, um, but I don't know if it's just going to keep filling up space over here, so I'm not going to bother grabbing those right now. We know they're there. We'll come back for them later. Finance, we need an accountant, evaluations, little notes, anything in here? No. Okay, so there we are. We have a to-do list. Let's read the CEO's letter. Okay, basic instruction. That was the tutorial. Now, am I a fully qualified prison architect? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <clears throat> okay. So every prison needs a warden. First one of your hires. Um, a nice office, of course. He'll want marble floors, I betcha. Individual jail cells are expensive. So start with a single large holding cell, which can be shared between many prisoners at once. And that we saw needed, well, we'll look at that in a minute. Kitchen and canteen up before they show up. Hire cooks. Yeah, empty stomachs. We found out what an empty stomach does to Larry in Tomb Raider, so we don't want to go there. Water connections. Water is provided by a water pump station. Utilities. Small pipes to connect individual items together. And large pipes to connect back to the station. Okay, there was something about this. Hmm. The, the small pipes are not going to carry water pressure very long. And I don't know how far that is. I guess we'll have to find out as we go. Um, the large pipes, of course, will carry them any distance, like whatever, right around the map, no problem. But I don't think the big pipes can go through walls. I think you need little pipes to connect some things. And there are a few things that that I think have to be connected specifically, like a sink or something like that. Um, I don't know, maybe everything does, showers, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so there we are, that's about everything, close that. So, did that get used, get done, close. Okay, so prisoner intake, let's start building things. Now, planning is a little tricky. I found there were some problems trying to delete some things and I again I don't remember what that was but and there are still some bugs this is a game that is not completed um, we've bought in here to help support the people while they're making this game which I think is amazing I love Steam that it gives us all these options I think that's so nice but um, Wow, okay, I thought of something else. Sorry, I had a blank spot there. But th this game, they're, they're saying there are, you know, glitches in here that will crash the game or stop it. Their game-breaking issues are still in place. So you play as much as you can and then whatever. And I don't know where those are, so whatever. <coughs> so we need, we're need we going to need offices. We're going to need an administration center because we looked at the staff here. We have a ward and a chief. I'm supposed, I, I guess, all of these guys are going to want their own offices. Now they're pricey. The warden is $1,000 to buy, to hire, and $200 a day. So I'm going to save him for like dead last, just before the prisoners come. There's no point in paying him today, in my opinion, while we're just building uh, the cook as well. We'll keep them, we'll keep these right for dead last. And I don't have any guards, do I? No, I just have little workers. So I'll have to hire guards as well before everybody shows up. So we're going to want offices. Do we pick a place that we keep for offices? I'm thinking, you know, somewhere near the road because then if things go bad, you can just escape. <laughs> but that's just me. Um, deliveries and garbage. Now, I, I don't know if these places are just packed on the ground here or if I'm supposed to build over them. We'll leave them as they are and see what, how that works out. Anyway, so we could have an office center maybe here in this little corner because the offices aren't very big, are they? They were four by four. So if these are the blocks, 
See, they, they're just, what, like half the size of this area or something. So we'll just leave this corner. Um, maybe we could start building a fence along here. We could put the offices outside the main prison area, maybe. Or put everything here. If we put the offices here... See, okay, I'm trying to think this through here. We have the utilities. We've got to put in a power station, right? Power station and water pumps have got to go in here someplace. And we don't want them too far away because then we're just paying for pipe. So maybe if I put that here, I could put administration on this side. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so let's start. I know I'm going to need two offices for these guys. Uh, so let's just do that. We'll just stick the old deliveries. Do I need storage room here? Mm. Should have thought about this a little more. So this is what size? there we go I can get in a little bigger that's probably way bigger than I needed isn't it so I'll leave that for the warden he's the only one that gets a fancy one and everybody else will just have to be little and then we need a holding cell shower yard kitchen canteen um okay so if I'm gonna have offices over here then a holding cell. How big does a holding cell have to be? Five by five, shower yard. So we could put a holding cell on one side, maybe a shower there, and then we could build cells on the other side so that they could be used by both sides maybe. Have a walkway, maybe a yard in the middle, and then kitchen canteen on the other side. Yeah, let's do that for now. We'll see. We will see. Uh, no, I need to put a foundation. It took me forever to figure out that you put the foundation in and then you actually make the room inside the walls. Because I was trying to click and drag a room. It didn't work out very well. <laughs> so you build something and then you designate that area. <coughs> so let's go back to building and... We will just do a holding cell was what I said five by five. Yeah, okay. So let's do that. And I think, you know, five by five is kind of tiny. Although, I don't think we want it so small that, you know, they're like beating each other up. So that doesn't sound good either. Uh, the shower, oh, can I, I don't even know if I can place them together like that. There was something about that too. I guess we'll figure it out. The showers, well, there's going to be more prisoners later. I guess we could have more than one shower though, couldn't we? Let's keep it small because we don't, I don't know how much money we're going to have here. So we'll do, we'll do something like that. Um... A yard, we'll get to that kitchen canteen. Uh, okay, let's do, 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 do. on the other side. Holding cell showers, we'll put cells at that end. Okay, we'll put a yard down in here and we'll do a kitchen. What is that little green spot? I don't know. We'll do a kitchen here. Okay, wait a minute. How big does the kitchen have to be? It doesn't say. Ooh, and the canteen has to be... That doesn't say either. So, think for yourself. Okay, we'll just do this. I have no idea you know, how this is going to work out, and nothing happened because the wall is still there. 
Well, we'll try that. We'll play Canty nice and... Yeah, see... Oh, oh, that worked. Okay. Do a little right-click at the end, and it didn't go down. And we'll put... The, I have no idea if these are too big, too small, too anything. So let's start our little workman. Um, where are they? Here they come. And if you haven't seen this game yet, this is the best part. <laughs> I love these little guys. They're so cute. Okay, I need doors. I need doors. Um, large door. Staff door. Staff door. Regular door. Okay, so we can put a staff door here. Construct building frame. I don't know. Well, let's see what they're doing. <clears throat> and all our supplies are coming in now. Gym door, staff door, solitary door. Requires an entrance. The job is queued. Okay, there's a door. That was for the holding cell. That's not a staff door. Okay, this will be a staff door. And then we need jail doors, cell doors. Are there something different? No, jail door. Keep your prisoners where they should be. That's a great idea. So this is going to be the holding cell. We'll put that there. This is going to be the showers. You know what? There was a way to rotate the doors right there. We'll put a door here and a door here for that. And canteen here. I guess. We will see. Aren't these little guys cute? You gotta check them out. I just just they make me happy. <laughs> the, the little screwdrivers there, just, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and then we have that one little bee stuck in there, which is, you know, irritating. Can I take it out? No. Okay, well, job cute. Yeah, we'll see. So we're going to need lights. Are they putting lights in? He's carrying a little light. Well, isn't he cute? Look! And now I'll have to figure out water and power. Okay, so where are we going to put that? We need utilities. Not too awfully far away. We're going to need some fencing and stuff too because we don't want these guys just wandering out once they get here, do we? Maybe I shouldn't have put the, all this stuff so far away. Am I going to have to fence this all the way in? Ew. Oh, well. Live and learn. <laughs> um, power station. All right. These are going to be offices. I will just stick this back here. And then a water station. And I have no idea how much space I need between these two things, so we'll leave them some room. Now I'm going to need a large pipe for water. Yeah, I'll just run it here. I have no idea how this works, so. Let's actually start building things like the kitchen and the showers. Okay, what goes in the showers? Showers? There's an idea. <clears throat> it just needs shower heads. Okay. But maybe walls too because you concrete walls. Oh, you did you know I just really 
I'm just sitting here thinking these are like open stalls with shower heads. These poor people. Okay, they're criminals, yeah, but you. Give me how many shower heads? Sprinklers, drains, remove water from the floor. Um, where's the shower heads? There we go. I thought that was one. But it's not. Two, three, four, five. I'm using the uh, R key to rotate a drain. Seems logical, yes. We will see. Okay, the holding cell needed what? Uh, indoor, okay, toilet and a bench. And doors or walls. Let's give them a little privacy. We'll make an actual toilet, I think. Because, yeah. Now, do I put a wall down or just a door? I have no idea. Let's find out. They'll just need a regular door. Put that there. Okay, that's not much of a room, is it? Where's the toilet? That'll go here. Probably don't need that. I think I can just stick it on, but you know, open the door, bang your knee. It just seems kind of rude. <laughs> and we needed benches, and that's it. Okay, well, that seems again kind of unpleasant. So there's a bench, maybe a bed in case somebody needs a nap. These guys may be here a while. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, there's that. Um, the warden's office. What's he going to need? Office desk, chair, filing cabinet. Oh, yeah, this is way too big. Oh, well. Keep the man happy. There's a chair. What did it say? Goes brilliantly with a table. Is there an office chair or just a chair? Snap door, solitaire tree. I want to play a tree. I'll behave. I'll let it wait for a little while. <laughs> uh, office desk. He needs to write things down. Well, well. Which way does that go? That way. And a chair. There's not an office chair before. Before I do something wrong. Nope, just a chair. Okay. And there you be. The chair is blocked. Well, if, I don't know what that means, so we'll find out. Okay, so our kitchen is going to need cooker, fridge, sink. Well, that makes sense. <coughs> there is a sink because employees are required to wash their hands. Well, that's kind of glad to hear it. <laughs> so there's that. We need fridges or a fridge. And again, which way does this go? You know what? I can put it right there in the cooker. <clears throat> I don't know where the front is, or I don't know if it makes a difference. Well, does it look the same either way? Kind of does, doesn't it? Well, we'll put one there and see if it works. If it doesn't, I will have learned something. 
And in the canteen, we're going to need, I'm guessing, some sort of table, serving tables. Serving tables? No place to sit, just serving tables. <laughs> so it's a serving table. We get a table, goes excellently with a chair. The serving table, oh, to dish up food. Okay, that's cool. That sounds like a very good idea. So we'll put that here. Maybe. And do we have like big long tables, weightlifting bench, regular tables, chairs, benches, works, abs, tables. Okay. Ooh, big. My room is too small. Now I know. Well, we'll have to have more than one canteen. <laughs> Or we'll just rebuild it later. <clears throat> so we won't be able to feed very many people at a time. So that's obviously got to be a lot bigger. Our office was too big. This is way too small. Okay, so these are all crying for water. And we don't have the pipes done yet, so we'll just wait that out. Um, we're going to need fencing, I think, someplace, somewhere. We can't have these guys just wandering around. So, outdoor fence. Do we want a fence, a wall? Oh, this looks like it's free. I hope that's correct. I will put... Maybe I'll put a fence right here so we can keep the administrative staff um, behind it. I like that idea. And we'll put one here for now. So we have our holding cell, we have showers, we can feed them. We're going to need two guards, two chefs. We need a yard. Okay, we need a yard. Let's build a yard. Where was that? Um, do we just designate it a yard? We do. Okay, so we just build whatever, five by five. So we build a space. I want cells over here. That's got to be a lot bigger, but I can expand that however. All right, I will just put a yard in here. Where, where? Right. <clears throat> so, oh, that's right. I have to designate these rooms as rooms too, don't I? I haven't done that part yet. So this will be the holding cell here. Um, I hope I can do this after I've put things in. Oh yeah, the, the floor changed, good. The canteen, this is this little weenie place, oh my god. The kitchen is here. Showers are up here. Office is over here. And if you notice, as you put them down, if, as you actually designate a room, they remind you of what you have to do, you know, what you need um, to make that work. This is actually pretty cool. Now, what goes in a yard? Uh, anything goes in a yard? We needed workbenches or something, right? No? Where did I see that? in movies. <laughs> That's where we saw that, in movies. So it requires an entrance, uh, a jail door, a regular door. I think a jail door was probably the best idea because then we can lock them in if it's ever required. Let's put in a weightlifting bench because we've seen the movies. We know how this works. We'll give them a couple and I'm going to plant a tree because they can have shade and it'll be a nice little place. Where did I see grass? I saw grass someplace. Five dollars a square. So if I went this, it would cost... Can I not do that? 
Well, that's no good. I wanted to give them a nice place. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> okay, more fencing. It's nighttime. Oh, what does that mean? Like they're coming any minute? Oh, nine hours? Okay, nine hours. Wow. I guess it was 23 hours. I'm not at 2300. Phew. Had a bad minute there. So, well, the fence was free. We'll just do this for now until we start working on the cell block. Where's this little doodah going? Come back. There. Um, here. It's very dark in here. So, lights maybe. Let's put some lights down. Um, in front of the office? Sure. Here. Can we put lights in here? Or they put lights in there already, don't they? Okay, I wanted more fence. I wanted more fence to do everything. Now, do I have to fence it right to the front gate? I have no idea. Well, for now, until I know better, I guess we're going to. Well, I guess I need gates or doors or something in this fence so the workmen can get back here and put in my electricity and stuff, right? Stop door, a stylish door. <laughs> uh, can we designate them staff only? Do I put in a door or a gate? I don't know. I'm not seeing a gate. Are you? Well, we're putting in a door for now and hope that that's the right choice. <laughs> All my prisoners are going to escape. <laughs> fun, fun times. I'm going to run this back here. And keep that garbage area in. Now, again, I don't know if it needs to go across the front. I don't know if we need a gate here. And I am going to put another gate or another fence along here just in case. I can get them all behind there and keep them there. A large jail door. Yeah, I don't know how all this is going to work out, but. So are my utilities made yet? Oh, I need power, power lines, electric cable. Okay, so this needs to be connected to that, or does it all have to come out of that side? I couldn't have switched this thing. No, that had been too easy. Now, do I have to collect it, connect it to the room? Power switch? Yeah, I don't know. The, the, the small pipes, do they have to go directly to an item? Every one? Wow, maybe. Now can I just run them underneath like that? Sure. I hope. We'll find out. don't know how far oh see now if the kitchen had been on the other side all the water would have been together that would have been a smart way to build a house and the prison I'm thinking well I'll just run this into here and live and learn because oddly enough a sink needs water go figure And I'm going to have to quit this really soon. I have to work today. Yuck. But I was hoping to get my first, um, my first prisoners in before I take off. Now, I have no idea how the electricity here is going to work, what it's going to do. Do I bring it through the wall? Whoops. Did I make two pipes there? <laughs> do I have to bring it into a room?
We'll do the office and see what happens. Oh, I know this has to be connected here somehow. Hurry, little guys. I know, I think this is going to be fun. We'll see how the game's going to play out. He said, after that little intro thing, yeah, it was, ooh, really? Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> but it might be kind of awesome. Did that. Did I put pipes down here instead of electric? Because oh, I'm just that good. I love it when I'm intelligent, don't you? I just, yeah. And I did it there too. <sighs> Look, the, I, I swear, the little screwdrivers there just cheer me right up. <laughs> These guys are awesome. We need electric here. And then electric to this one. And we'll see what happens with that room. I don't know. Oh, look. Okay, that was that was good. Now what? So it just kind of popped over to the light on its own. I like it. Water is flowing. <gasps> Two hours till the prisoner intake. Saying hurry up, you moron. Okay, I need I need power to how do we do the power? Do we have to run it to every room? Can I do this? Expecting to run it down here. Over to here. I don't know if I have to run it in the room or just up next to it. So this one's going in, this one's next to it. We'll see what happens. And I have to hire some staff. I need two guards and two chefs. So one, two. Do I just place them somewhere? Okay. Two and a cook. I need two. And a warden. We'll pop him down there. Get back to the utilities. Hurry and build faster. Okay, so it looks like this is not going in unless I bring it into the building or into the room. Hmm. 40 minutes, 39, 38, oh my god. Hurry. Make it go. Okay, so the yard is working. This is cool. Okay, my canteen's up. I still don't have water. Maybe because I don't have power? Why don't I have water in my toilets? Do I have to bring it right, right into the toilet? Like that? Well, these were covered, but they're still... Okay, these aren't blinking, these are. So it just, it needs to actually touch. These are not powered, electric cable. Into the room or to the actual item, I don't know. Okay, so this is still not counting as power into this place yet. Maybe because the other wall is there. Maybe I should have brought it out of the wall. I don't know. OK, 
Okay, so that just got connected. Yay. So this needs direct connection. Alrighty then. So lights don't and certain util like items do. Okay, the toilets are now functioning. So I've learned something. So the pipe has to go right over the toilet, not just up to it. Uh, which will mean the sink needs another pipe. And this is running, I take it. It's not flashing. The water's moving. Yay, that's good. 20. Two, are my prisoners here already? Oh, they're out here. Oh my god, so what do I do with them? <laughs> um... How do we get them? Guards. Guard, come over here. I don't know what to do with them. Do we? Can I select them? How do I move the guards? I don't know what to do. Um, I can't feed them all because, well, I have no place to cook anything. So I don't know how to move these people. I have no idea. Ooh, we can find out about them. Um, bang up. They don't have cells. I can't do that. Okay, here's where I'm going to have to pause because I have no idea how to move these guys and um, I have to go to work. <laughs> so until I see you again, if you like this, if you want to see more, of course, do the like, do the subscribe. Thank you for the activity on my channel. Tell your friends, uh, do all these things. Let's keep this going because I'm having a ball. So until I see you next time, remember to always, you know, live your life happy and choose to build it beautiful. Where's my little man? Okay, I don't know why that happens lately. I get this flash and uh, he goes away again. So anyway, I gotta go. Bye bye. <laughs>this lag thing and this has been happening with a few games it's just never happened with these other see now finally he kicks in there you go i'll see you soon guys bye bye